Okay, let's talk about the Lonnie Walker problem. I know a lot of Spurs fans are basically writing off Lonnie Walker after the one for seven, one for four from three, uh, and three total points that he put up in his uh, first preseason game of this season. And I have to say that, yeah, it was pretty disappointing, but I'm gonna use this more of a critique of Lonnie Walker and just some of the things that I'm seeing, uh, good and bad. So right off the bat, Lonnie Walker, this is the good. This is probably the biggest good that came out of watching Lonnie Walker. He definitely had more in his arsenal during this game. One thing that I noticed is that he was doing way more step backs. Like, let's just be honest. If you're in the NBA and you're going to be a great shot creator, you got to be really good at step backs. And that's one thing that I haven't seen a lot of Lonnie Walker in previously, but we saw a lot of that during this preseason game. And he was creating a lot of of space and that's a good thing but yes be completely real with Lonnie Walker he can be pretty streaky at times it just is what it is I don't know if it's his shot it seems like it has enough arc but sometimes he doesn't have that shooter's touch when he's actually in a game so I understand that it's kind of disheartening from Spurs fans to look at this and say yo what's wrong with Lonnie Walker is he scared and I gotta guarantee you he he's not in the game, he played very good defense. He looked more comfortable than he's ever looked, and he's created space. Now, here's my critique of Lonnie Walker. This is one thing that I think Lonnie Walker could do where he would actually hit his shots. Okay, so Lonnie Walker, he is a streaky player at times. And with streaky players, you guys all know, we all know this, that streaky players have to get going and they have to get some easy shots to get going. Now, Lonnie Walker, one thing that he's very exceptional at is getting to the basket. So in this game, it looked like he was more so focused on shooting mid-range shots, um, taking his threes, creating space. He was obviously sh trying to try out some of the things that he's been working on. And I have to, I have to say, I have to be honest, that step back was nasty. He was doing a very good job of creating space with his defender. But Lonnie Walker, one of the primary things that he's good at, I would say actually the primary thing that he's good at is getting to the rim. Those, those crazy dunks, those adjustments in midair, that's what Lonnie Walker is good at. And I think that if he focused on that and that be his primary and then allow other parts of this game to kind of catch up to it, I think that he will be in a much better spot because of how streaky he can be. Now... <laughs> I have to be honest, I'm a little upset with Spurs fans, how upset they are with Lonnie Walker. Like people are already saying, well, man, we got Primo, what do we need Lonnie Walker for? It, just chill out. Lonnie Walker is a very good talent. He's very athletic. He can create his own shot. And I'm seeing the improvement. He did literally everything right in this game, but hit his shots. Every single shot that he took was an open shot the the guy has added to his game and we're going to see a lot of it you he will eventually be able to pay off or it's going to be paid off for him for getting all those uh shot creators or shot creating shots oh my goodness i, I was about to say shot creator badge <laughs> too much 2k um but his step backs are um exceptionally well he's doing a good job and we all know the best players in the nba have mean step backs whether it's Dame Lillard, whether it's Steph Curry, whether it's, I know this is a bad word, but James Harden, they have crazy step backs. And Lonnie Walker is obviously working on that. And he was, his footwork was on, on, on point. He was superb. That's the only problem that he's having right now is that I feel like he needs to get his game going. And it's only one game, okay? It's only one game. But I, I think it might help him to get his game going first before he starts you know bringing out the toolbox so i think he knows that i think we'll see a little bit you know different things from lonnie walker you know when, once the season start i i really believe that he was just kind of trying out what he's been uh working on and i see the improvement so don't be so quick to just call him out lonnie walker looked comfortable he was good defensively he was good contesting shots he created shots <laughs> or, or created space he was passing uh, the ball very well typical Lonnie stuff 
Donovan Mitchell-esque Lonnie. So I seen improvements. It's just a matter of hitting your shots. And when you're streaky, because Lonnie Walker is going to be a little streaky, he, he needs to start with the with the basics, I would say. You know, get going a little bit. You know, get a few points, get your confidence up, and then you start knocking down some points. But at the end of the day, shoot or shoot. He went one for seven. He didn't stop shooting. And every single shot he shot was a good shot. So kudos to Lonnie. I know that it's a little disheartening from fans, but you have to just keep in mind that it's a process. There's way more basketball to be played it's only preseason and you know focus on the the thing about preseason is you need to focus on the positives uh before you start grilling players like really grilling them but um but yeah i'll get with you guys later uh if you could subscribe to the channel like all that great stuff um oh also um if you want to support the channel you like what i do two dollars a month on patreon or you can become a youtube member which is also two dollars so yeah <laughs> all right I, i'll have to get with you guys later let me know what you think in the comments on lonnie walker and uh yeah deuces man <laughs>